Guys, so this is my first time ever driving an electric vehicle. We're in a Tesla Model Y long range. Is not what is <laughs> nothing that I expected. This one pedal driving is crazy. Um, how it all it brings you to a full stop. This thing is so much faster than any vehicle I've ever driven that's got an internal combustion motor. Um, it was a lot quieter, smoother. It was a much more pleasant ride. We played with the auto steer. We we got in trouble because we didn't grab the wheel, I guess. And so uh, it turned off, but the autopilot, it literally drove us to where we were going without a whole lot of uh, interaction from me and really pleasant drive. So we, we, we played with the interface here. There's so many systems, everything's inside of here. Here's our autopilot where we've been told we can't do it anymore. Um, but you can play with your music. Everything's right here in front of you. The, the speedometer was not a big deal to me. Um, I didn't have any issue looking here versus looking here. And I just thought it was it was a much more enjoyable experience than I thought I was gonna have with this. I mean, I expected to enjoy it, but um, the seats are really comfy. I, I feel like the, the way the, the dash is laid out is a lot better than I had under, anticipated. The fit and finish seems to be really good. It's a, a demo vehicle that from Tesla. So it's been driven by people like me just test driving it. You got good storage here in the middle. Um, I do love the screen and I love the minimalist thing. And so, yeah, it's been a, a very enjoyable experience. Got my buddy Drew here. What do you think, Drew? It's pretty sweet. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's quick. It Looking forward quick. to trying it out here in a minute. So we're gonna swap seats, let Drew drive and see how it is from the passenger seat. But from first first impression, man, really fun car to drive. These electric vehicles are so fast, so responsive with the with your acceleration. And then the one pedal driving is, is in, what an incredible change from having to hit a brake all the time. So anyways, thanks for this quick update and we'll catch you in a little bit. All right, so we're off. Now I'm sitting in the passenger seat. Drew's getting his first experience with the one pedal driving which is well, it's turkey when you're not used to just not letting off it is a very unique experience very interesting feel but i like it i it makes it interesting to go i'm i'll be anxious to see how it is oh my gosh <laughs> this thing gets up and goes man you just it's it's like driving a high performance vehicle i mean it is a high performance vehicle right but I think so. it moves so quickly. Uh, we're still disabled on autopilot. Uh, I, I ruined it for us. I didn't grab the steering. I didn't realize it was yelling at me for not holding the steering wheel and we've been disciplined. We're not allowed to utilize the autopilot anymore. Back to cruise. So what are your first impressions? Your comfort wise? It's smooth. Like you said, the seats are comfortable. It's. Uh move the steering wheel up down in out all that um it's it, the the pickup i just i'm like you said i've never driven something with that instant acceleration which so is crazy because we drove the ford uh power boost together and yep. i th when we drove that i thought 
I thought that thing had pickup that I had never felt before. Yeah. And this 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 puts, puts it to shame. Yeah, it puts it to shame. That's a great way to say it. It truly does. This is so much more responsive and so much more instant torque, right? Yeah, it's uh It'd be going through tires and <laughs> no <laughs> this time. Is, this isn't thing. even the the performance. Yeah, this bonus. is the long range. Yeah. This is your family getter. <laughs> I don't know that I'd need much more than this, so it's crazy. So you got the screen, you got all these different settings in here you can you can change your steering and pedals you can do you know you can control so here's where your mirrors are your steering wheel uh sentry you can set up where it watches your vehicle for you basically and records anyone that comes up and bugs your vehicle we did already have our first experience with an angry anti-tesla who uh did not like our autopiloting it got a little confused on the <laughs> off-ramp. It also, <laughs> autopilot didn't like the uh, drag drag racing lights on yeah, the highway. It, the, was, it was green for the car in front of us, and it just uh, tried to go through it and realized <laughs> it was red and stopped in front of it. And it was awkward. It got a little confused. It was a little awkward, so, is yeah. Is the steering wheel on? It is on, I believe. I don't need that. Uh, pedals and steering. Nope. Controls. Let's find... I'll find it for you. Steering. It's got to be in the steering wheel, right? No. Nope. No. Nope. Heated steering wheel is pretty awesome, but I don't need it right now. Maybe there. Yeah, I hit the three dots. Three dots. Nope. Ste yeah, here, there heated steering. Fine. There we go. Well, if it were not 65 out, I'd be pretty happy about that. But yeah. Oh, this thing's quick. Like, you don't even realize. You look down and yeah. you're already doing 10 over without trying. I'll be looking at no cops allowed to watch this with their speeding. Goodness. It's, I think the hardest thing that will probably the biggest learning curve with this is getting used to everything being in the screen all your controls are here and once you you know once you get to know where everything is it's, you can get to it really quickly you know on the steering wheels i mean honestly if there were a computer a screen uh yeah, a screen in front right of here, i'd have trouble seeing it anyway it's a pretty you know compact wheel and where the speed limit is 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 plenty to see and it shows you the you know the uh speed limit and all that so everything's right here you got this nice little you know direction shows all the cars around us as they pull up around us that's kind of cool and i still can't get used to the fact that i haven't touched the brake pedal yeah that's really weird that's a very unique feel we were, we got our glove box that's <laughs> everything's in here it's kind of cool probably a little just annoying at times if you just want to hit the glove box open or something but um get your mapping it's really good. It actually did pretty good. We picked a place that it was going to choose a unique spot to get off. We picked a fire station to go to with parking lot, and it wanted to pull up on the front ramp of the fire station, which is probably not advised. But Let's see how it takes us. Let's see how it, where's the I hit this Tesla. There so there we go, right there, take us back, and. Is it already going? Yep. All right. So then, oh, I don't know what. There we go. Try the adaptive cruise before we get on the highway, see how it does. It's too bad that autopilot, I messed that up. But it's in demo mode, and so it does not want us. Breaking the law. New Tesla drivers breaking the law and ruin this car so how did you change the distance for a cruise uh it's on this wheel you right and left right and left so that's more or less yeah i mean i i love the adaptive cruise control it does a good job of seeing you have to hold the steering wheel on the basic adaptive it doesn't do lane centering but i'm sure there's a feature in here that we've uh been locked out of with my with my ruining it for us i'm sure it has lane centering on a basic level that's not full autopilot but yeah, there was that middle option there i don't remember what they called it yeah they're both beta i mean i don't think you're allowed to do full autopilot yet in the united states other countries you can but i don't know so then you got your music you can play music through here um phone we have linked my phone up i have no idea what this is i think this is a sing-along game i don't know here's your cameras so you got your side cameras your rear camera it does not have a front camera um 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> still, it still gets me. It throws you back. It's got Spotify built in. But you got all these things. You get games when you're sitting to charge. You can play a game. You can watch videos. I think it's got, I think this has got Netflix and Disney Plus, all those things that you can access. Got your heated seats here. Does not have cooling seats, which is fine. You got your individual, so you can adjust where the vents are here on the screen, which is unique. Probably not as easy while you're driving as it would be if you just had a actual vent. But I wonder if it keeps those settings too. Like it'll keep your based on whose phone gets in the driver's seat, it'll keep your seat and uh, pedal and steering wheel controls. I think it does. I think it, the air and everything is part of that too. I think it. Let's try the wipers. He told us that it supposedly he told us this camera up here. Oh yeah. It's supposed to sense that the windshield's dirty. Well, it's dirty right now. It's dirtier. I'm I'm one of those that I like my windshield to just be clean. So it does not want to get that section of the <laughs> right that right there. It does not want to get clean. But yeah, it's just a different experience. You know, I drive an F two fifty normally and very different experience from that big old truck. You can definitely feel the weight of it versus another, you know, regular SUV this size. Yeah, it, it's, it's heavy. Earlier when we hit the on ramp, we hit a little bump in the road, and you could feel the weight, how much weight it has. It 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 threw the the car over, and you could feel it kind of catch in a weird way. Um, so you can definitely tell there's a lot of weight underneath us, but it also is low to the ground, so you feel very planted. Like it doesn't feel top heavy at all feels like the weight is right there nice and centered on the bottom below you so it's a comfortable car there's, you know there's a fair amount of road noise coming through but there's also zero noise from an, uh, an engine right we don't have the radio on so we're literally just testing how it does with everything being silent so I think it's I think it's more than acceptable the amount of noise that's coming into this vehicle I don't usually like sunroofs and so it's actually not bothering me they got a pretty good tint on this window and it actually doesn't bother me like sunroofs usually do usually they're beating on your head so yeah, you much gain head space instead of losing it this yeah this my, guy my you, gets a more. sunburn yeah. when he's got a sunroof <laughs> I on. Being tall, not mom, but <laughs> Yeah, it's not too bad. It, it's kind of cool to see and definitely get some light into the vehicle. Pretty decent back seat room. We played with the seven seater at the dealership. That uh, third row is not for adults. Barely for kids. Barely for kids. And if you were in the wrong car seat, I don't know if my kids would have any leg room with, with the right car seat. You'd be pushed too far forward in that seat, but kind of nice I guess to have that option if if your kids are the right age and you have the right use case for it I think he said it was $2,500 feature which isn't too bad I guess but I don't know we're gonna head back to the dealership my general impressions I do love this car I think I would buy one it's really comfy to ride in and for my first experience being in an electric vehicle I've enjoyed it Drew it's great I mean the power alone is who doesn't like to go fast yeah get in trouble with that <laughs> all right so now we've got we got our permissions back for autopilot it's uh gonna allow us to do it so it's on full autopilot right now it's done pretty good for the most part we had we were at an on-ramp like one of these right here where it, you have to stop and then it is kind of helping control the flow of traffic onto the highway it did not do well at that because the car in front of us had a green light. So it thought, hey, we're good to go. And then all of a sudden it turned red and it freaked out and was like, crap, we're supposed to stop. So it didn't do good at that. Um, it doesn't do, it, we came to a stop sign back on a side street where we had to stop, but the traffic in front of us did not. And there was a car coming that was gonna turn in front of us. It played it as if they had a stop sign. So we had to stop it from going forward 
uh, during that stop intersection. Where was the other place, Drew? Uh, getting off the highway at Academy. Oh. Um, yeah, what was that one? It didn't, it, it had a merge lane that it still tried to stop at. Yeah. Pissed off the guy behind us. Oh, we were going to go to, we have it navigating us back to Tesla. Oh, yeah. We were going to get off <laughs> oh, well. at this exit and get some footage around the outside. I think let's get off at Fondero. We'd yeah, yeah we can go to that lot. parking lot there. Um, so it's got us navigating over to here. Trip send it. So you're you're in charge again. Okay, so we're uh, it's still on autopilot. It's just driving down the road um, with nowhere to go, but it's doing a good job of keeping us centered in the lane. Um, it's recognizing the cars around us pretty well. Just so hit your be, signal and see if it'll get over without you. Let's see. We got a car there, so you got to hold on. Yeah, There's a slight, it. slight turning force to let it know you're there. There it is. All right, there we go. So the the rules, I didn't. Let's try it one more time. Let's let's just get get off on there. Else right here. So I put put it on auto. I put my signal on for it, and it's moving us by itself. And it got us into this lane. So it did a good job. Um, we're gonna have it exit here. Let's see how it does come into a stop. Because now we need it to go left. So let's let it get us over into that lane. Hopefully it's gonna stop us at this stoplight up here. <laughs> <laughs> it's very unnerving. It's a, it's an unnerving feeling to have the car driving you. But it's doing a great job. Like it is doing a good job of recognizing it. See, red light brought us to a full stop. We're turning left. And so we'll see when this light changes, how it interacts. It gives you your turn camera on here. I don't know. What do you think, Dred? It's a little unnerving, but it... There's it's, nobody else around. It's doing a good job. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Green light. And it's turning it. Right now, it's going to turn us into the turn lane. So, you got so to we got to the... turn. We need it to get into this lane to go straight, which this has a little bit of a jog. So let's see what it does with the pylons. It did good. And then up here, we're going to have it turn us to the right at this intersection which we do not have a stop sign so we'll see how it does this this is more than a 90 degree turn and it paused a little got a little confused yeah, it did pretty good now it's navigating us down this frontage road we're going to stop it now because we're going to go into this parking lot which is busier than i anticipated yeah. get some some footage of the outside but man auto autopilot did really good i'm pretty happy with it I, I don't know i don't have for something that's listed as being in beta i think it's doing a very good job um the technology is still moving forward has a long ways to go but pretty impressive what it's doing relative to what my vehicle that's All right, so here we are. This is the outside of the vehicle. Um, this is again, this is the Model Y long range. And this one has the, the 20 inch wheels on it, so it's a little bit upgraded. So it does give you a little hit to your mileage, but I think they look way better than the, the base wheels with wheel covers. Um, this one comes in blue, but you can see around outside, we got a camera here. I don't think we have another camera here. Just There's a the camera side. in the pillar. Okay, and then um, on the back, you've got a, a rear camera somewhere. Underneath by the license plate. Right here, we got a camera here. So you don't have a front facing camera on this vehicle, but we do have kind of around the vehicle and you'll see those throughout different times that you're driving um, as you're using your signals. If that's what keeps you uh, informed of what's around you. But coming around this vehicle, you got the, the rear hatch, pop it open nice wide opening you got a lot of storage here you got some good under under the storage which is incredible these electric vehicles a lot of them have extra storage underneath here because they don't have the same they don't have a fuel tank they got to store under here all the battery is underneath it in a flat um, section underneath of the vehicle so you don't have as much stuff here you got good deep pockets on the side this one comes with the cover if you were to get the seven passenger it pops up here and here two seats pop up it is it is not meant for a 
adults like Drew and I in that back seat. It is tight. But for if you have kids, for the right use case, I think it would be really nice to have those seats. And then you can slide the second row forward to give you a little bit more foot. But you're, you only have maybe, what do you think, six inches? It's not much. Not much back there. Close the hatch here. It's all power, power hatch. Um, coming around, doors. Take a look at the back seat here. Your window comes down when you open it. Good, good space in the back seat. When I get in here, Drew is sitting here. Drew's six. What are you at, Drew? Six four. Six four. Good space. I mean, I have a lot of space. I'm five eight. I've got a lot of room. Drew sat back here. He had a lot of room and plenty of head space for both of us. Got some vents here. No vents on the pillar, so those are going to be your only ones, and then the vents coming off the dash towards the back. But I'm just so impressed with this sunroof on top, this whole glass roof, and it is not your typical sunroof experience. It's not beating down on us. We're in Colorado, and it's winter, so it's not, you know, we don't have 90 degree temperatures today anyways to, to be heating it up. It's off, the window will close, which I wonder how that works in the winter when your seals get frozen over with like a, just a, a light rain that freezes at night. Have to have to see how that worked in the winter. Power seat on the passenger side. Good. It's very minimal. It's just a it's nice clean look. Your door to open is a button. It's a physical button, not a haptic button. And then your power window on the driver's side, you've got full auto up and down of all the windows, which is really nice. Good seat, good leg room. This is, the seat's set up for 6'4 Drew. It's got lots of leg room, and you saw how much leg room there was still for the back passenger. Good storage here, couple cup holders. Got a good deep storage here, goes up front. And you've got a couple USB-C ports right here inside of this compartment. Two wireless chargers here. Your mirror. Well, there's nothing really to write home about, but they do have a mirror, vanity mirror with, with a light. So, pretty nice. Yeah, again, front camera's on the side. Got the front, which you have to open through the the computer there which is a little bit odd but it is what it is i'm not most cars don't have a front i guess that's a I'll figure out how to do that from here maybe just hit on the if you come in here and you just hit open the front and open it from in there come up here if you don't have a latch like a traditional vehicle you'd have to hit another latch here it just automatically opens. A deep storage area. You could probably fit a small piece of carry-on luggage or something there. Um, and then you have your windshield washer fluid here. That's really all you have. There's not a lot. You got the motor underneath there, some electronics back behind it underneath the plastic cladding, but I don't know, it's kind of nice. You have storage that you don't have in a typical vehicle. You're not supposed to slam this. You're supposed to push it down and let it latch. And then you have this big vast. I'm, I would be curious how this holds up to rocks and whatnot. I know a lot of people put PPF on these vehicles to help protect them. Tesla is not known to have the hardest paint. They're usually pretty soft, but I, I would be curious to see how that holds up without PPF because PPF is fairly expensive actually to the uh, average person. You got a couple fog lights down here, some vents that go to towards your wheels. This is a vent. We do have a little cooling that you need on these vehicles, but in general, there's no uh, no motor that needs active cooling, but you do want to cool your motors down, so they have a little bit of cooling on the front. So that is the Tesla Model Y. Walk around on the outside, and it's basic features, so nice vehicle. I think it looks slick. All right, so we're pulling up to the superchargers here in northern Colorado Springs. We're gonna give this a try. This is a loaner vehicle from Tesla, so we're gonna see if they're gonna allow us to charge here. We're gonna back up to one of them and plug it in, and we're gonna see how it goes. Wait. 
we don't really need a charge we're doing pretty good so currently we're at 58 percent state of charge so we'll hop out and uh we're gonna see if this thing will let us charge all right so we're just coming up here Let's tap this bad boy open, plug it in, see if we get a green light. Got a green light, we're charging. All right, let's go see what we're getting. Charging speeds. All right, currently we're getting 92 kilowatts per hour or uh, 317 miles per hour and it says that we have 40 minutes remaining to get to 100. Let's see if it ramps up at all from 99 then we get closer to that 150. Yeah it's coming up a little bit. So now and then I guess now is when you enjoy the games. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, theater. Got Netflix. Let's see what they got here. I guess I probably shouldn't do that if I don't want to put this on YouTube. Let's just close that now. because. So we've been kind of leveled out at 108 kilowatts charging. We're at 60%. So thank you, Tesla, for allowing us to charge touch back in in a bit Don't all right him. so i'm here with my buddy jeff we picked him up tonight let him ride around in this tesla model y performance uh they let us take it home for 24 hours so get his thoughts on what he thought about his first experience in the model y yeah first time in uh in an ev actually all together um as soon as we got in the road i can't take my eyes off the screen and uh <laughs> once we uh once we hit the gas my head went flying back and I actually, because of the way I was sitting leaning in, hit, missed the, re the headrest <laughs> and went all the way back. The torque is amazing. Um, and the, the, the way that you don't use the brake as you would in a normal gas vehicle is pretty insane as well. But uh, absolutely amazing. I love the interior, how, uh, how basic it looks, but how <laughs> complicated, not complicated, but sophisticated it truly is so uh yeah. kudos kudos to tesla it's a fun car i have to correct one thing there's no gas in this buddy we just hit that pure ev <laughs> acceleration See, baby that, that's a guy that <laughs> truly is stepping foot into his first ev still uh, relying on uh on gas vehicles so oh we got another <laughs> tesla pulling up to the the charging station here Currently we were alone, but let's see. Let's check in on this charging. We're at, we've gone down to 87 kilowatts now, charging speed. So it says we have 20 minutes remaining. We set the max to 90% this time. So yeah, it's. I think the interesting part with this vehicle is it just when you when you come from an internal combustion motor and that's all you've ever known, you just don't know what to expect. Very and I think true. that's been my experience today with this car is I've just been so blown away with the performance side of it and how quick it is, how, how much torque, like you said, that it has. And the it feels like a, a, a much more advanced vehicle oh yeah i feel like i'm driving something like a porsche which i've never driven but that's what i this, the way this drives that's how i envisioned something like that would drive right and so this has been a, a great thing this charging actually was super easy we just plugged right in and started charging um which i know that's one of the biggest differences between t tesla and all the other evs is the charging network and our experience here tonight so far has been super flawless <laughs> very easy simple you know and i i think this is something i could get used to so it's been three minutes and we've gone up 10 percent. that's pretty impressive that is very impressive 
So, I don't know. We, we've we tried to play with this. This is a demo vehicle. <laughs> the, none of the, the screen uh, movie options are logged in and the games. So, we're going to try to see what we can get with those. Um, but we'll check back in and see how much longer it takes us to get to 80 or 90 percent and then we'll head out of here so my buddy jeff here signing out <laughs> all right so we've gotten into this game where you race around and you use the steering wheel who'd have thought i'd be sitting here in my car playing a video game with my steering wheel it's incredible <laughs> It is actually pretty fun. It's I'm not gonna lie. It's making me kind of sick to my stomach Like the movement of it is really playing with my head, but It's pretty cool. It's cool that They have come up with an option or a way for you to entertain yourself While you charge at their networks and I am terrible at this game by the way. I drive better than this in real life I, pro I promise I do it just takes a, get, a bit of getting used to, right? Like how the dynamics of the steering wheel play into the video game. And you can connect this actually to a remote. You can buy a video game console remote and Bluetooth link it to your car to use it instead of your steering wheel. But as you might guess, we do not have one of those tonight. All right, we'll see. We'll check out some other games here in a minute. All right, let's do a quick update. I think we've been here about 10, maybe 15 minutes. I don't remember what time we got here, but now we're down to 53 kilowatts, but we're at 82% state of charge. Pretty good. I don't know, it's been fast. It has not, I'm sure over time, it's less exciting and new to be here and doing this, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked at how easy this is. Now it's not as fast as pulling into a gas station and filling up. I'll admit that, but um, most of my char charging is going to be at home. I'm not going to be coming up to these superchargers um, to charge on a regular basis, just during road trips and whatnot. But this isn't too bad. This is convenient. You hook up, charges. It's charging fairly quick. Obviously, now it's down to 51 because it's over 80 percent. Um, the charging gets throttled quite a bit at 80 percent and to 100. But we've We've played with the games in here. I mean, this has this has YouTube. We watched some YouTube. We've played the race car game. We've played all sorts of things. We, we've done the, the light shows. We got <laughs> whoopee cushions. Ooh, we got romance. We can get cozy. Look at that. Isn't that special? Ah, set the mood. <laughs> yeah, it's just cool. I think it's, I think it's kind of cool that uh, you can that Tesla's got different things in here to entertain you with. You know, that's definitely unique from a lot of other manufacturers. All right, so yeah, let's see here. 49 kilowatts, 84% state of charge. We probably won't stay here much longer. We'll get going. All right, so while we're charging, we're gonna do this little feature. We're gonna watch it do this Christmas light show. It's pretty crazy. This thing does all sorts of stuff. Literally playing Christmas music and making a light show. Side speaker that plays that all over the for everyone. You got windows that go up and down. I'll let you just enjoy it.
crazy. Somebody paid a lot of money to have that song made. All right, now I think we're done. Let's see where our charge is. Pretty sure we're pretty close to where we wanna be. Yeah, we're at 87%. We're gonna unplug it. Let's see how we do this. There we go. Got it out. Put it back up there. All right, we got it up there. Charge port closed and we're ready to go. shot of the headlights we're driving at night very good headlights good visibility it covers the road really well and also you can tell that it's got a, a cap on where it's gonna blind other drivers so it's got gray headlights I really like these these are full LED headlights and then it has the uh, fog lights are also activated right now All right, as we take one quick walk around this car one more time, I just give my final thoughts. I had a blast driving this car. It was so torquey, so sp uh, sporty, so fun to drive. Um, I think it's a really good looking car. It's obviously, this is my first electric vehicle I've ever driven, but I had a lot of fun and I would buy one. I think it's certainly worth you going and checking one out if you're interested in electric vehicles or if you're interested in Teslas. So thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching this video and coming along on my first electric vehicle driving experience. This is Preston with Press and Go. Please like, subscribe, and come back for more content. See you later.